Hey guys, uh, just going to do a video on, uh, well, basically uh, the current drug prohibition. Uh, just stating that, you know, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video about drugs. I don't take drugs anymore. Uh, but that doesn't mean, you know, I'm wiping my hands clean of, uh, you know, trying to lift the prohibition. Uh, I still believe that people have a right to take whatever intoxicating substances they are providing you know they are old enough to make that decision i don't think uh, for example an 11 year old girl with uh, severe depression and you know bad family issues uh, is conscientious of that kind of decision or understands enough about drugs to take them uh, to give you a context of what i mean by uh, is able to make that decision okay and yeah just uh, to those of you who uh, you know have friends, let's say, who've uh, or, or who've been to prison, or for those of you who've been to prison over drug-related things, uh, you know, non non-violent things. Uh, for example, maybe you got caught at a festival with a bunch. Uh, maybe you were selling a bunch at that festival. You know, wh whatever it was. Maybe you were shipping them from country to country. Maybe back when it was uh, sort of legal in the UK, or maybe other countries, you imported the wrong thing, thinking it was legal, and the laws had changed. I don't know. Uh, what your circumstances perhaps you're a current drug dealer um, you know good luck to you you know I hope uh, whatever the government or whatever you know whatever society throws at you in terms of trying to tell you that drugs are wrong uh, you know doesn't dissuade you from uh, continuing with uh, taking them recreationally if you want to um, that I, I don't support you if you have a drug habit and it's an addiction, just to make that clear. That's not a healthy lifestyle. Uh, no, t no form of addiction is. And um, I don't support you doing drugs in a dangerous manner. But you know, if, if you do them in that manner, that's up to you. But that's not what I support. I support, well, better drug education and um, sensible use, yeah? Sensible informed use, just to make that clear. And yeah, you know, basically anyone who's struggling in this uh, time of drug prohibition, you know, there's plenty of websites. I'm not going to link any, you, you'll find them. There's plenty of forums where you can get drug information. Yeah, there's plenty available to find on the internet um, uh, about, about drugs, about the current drug prohibition. I think, to be honest, if I'm going to talk about it, the biggest one, again, is marijuana. And, you know, if you want to get into lifting the drug prohibition... Uh, the gateway drug is marijuana yeah and what you should try to talk about and demonstrate is um, everyone who takes drugs isn't just some fuck up who goes insane because it's not really true uh, I know quite a lot of people who take drugs a lot of different drugs and they just live normal lives you know they might have crazy conduct or be wacky at times or they're on drugs or whatever but it doesn't affect them a lot of them, most of them, in a way that's severe enough, uh, you know, to make them have a awful like this, 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 this sort of idea of all the people who've ever taken drugs or who take hard drugs uh, that they're all just criminals and that they all just came from bad families and what evil things happen is uh, is ridiculous. I mean, if you apply that all, to, just, just, just forget the hard drug thing that I said yeah if you apply that to marijuana users uh, you know back in the days when there was brief of madness people would have believed that but now you know if you say to people uh, who smoke marijuana who know people who smoke marijuana a lot of people who smoke marijuana you know they, they're gonna say like that's that's crazy most people who smoke marijuana just just they're just everyone you know just they can be pretty much anyone from I am business person, uh, a lot of builders, a lot of construction workers uh, smoke marijuana, plenty of gamers smoke marijuana, uh, for some reason the old school RuneScape community, plenty of them smoke marijuana, uh, people in IT, ma marijuana um, use is very common and you know the same sort of people who are drinking alcohol uh, will smoke marijuana, although the people who smoke marijuana habitually aren't the same people who drink alcohol habitually generally. but. There are people who habitually take both. 
But, you know, another way to approach this is to look at it, like I said, also as, uh, you know, the prohibition uh, days with alcohol um, and marijuana, like I said, it's a gateway drug. You should be pushing for that to be legalized first uh, if we want other drugs to be legalized. Um, I think there should maybe be regulation. Uh, for example, if there's signs indicating that someone has a severe addiction to quite hard substances, let's say, for example, uh, uh, heroin see uh, if they're buying a lot of it for months on end in higher and higher doses and trying to buy it from a lot of different cl clinics we should try and regulate those people and uh you know try and control and limit their use because in this moment it's clear that they have a drug problem yeah um but we shouldn't make it illegal for them to uh live like that um you know maybe we should make it illegal to deal and just have it done through companies with permits, uh, regulate the market, it could be good. Uh, but we shouldn't make, you know, people who take recreational drugs into criminals, uh, just like, you know, we don't make people who drink alcohol into criminals. We, they're not portrayed as criminals. And generally, just pot smokers, they're not really portrayed as criminals anymore, you know. In some places they are too, more, you know, in more reserved families, it's, it's that way, but really, uh, the, the portrayal of people who take cannabis uh, isn't the same as it used to be, you know? And it's the same with ecstasy, for example. Like, most of the people who take ecstasy, they're not, they're not fucking major criminals or anything. You know, they're just, they're just people uh, who go out and party, you know? Like, most people who take ecstasy don't go out into town and murder people, you know? They don't do violent things generally as a result of ecstasy. They generally just take ecstasy um, to sort of party. Uh, but like I said, I am not uh, promoting, uh, you know, like people who are who are using and who have addiction problems and people who are using too high a dose. And I also don't think it's smart to take a drug you know nothing about. It's always good to reset. I'm not promoting that. I'm just saying people should be allowed the option. People who, you know, can consent. Adults, basically. And yeah, I don't know, it's just, you know, to reinforce that, like I said, whilst I haven't put up a, a lot of drug videos recently, uh, that I still support, you know, drug users. Anyone who's creating content uh, around a policy reform, for example, anyone like, uh, oh, what's his name? I think it's Mr. Good, Mr. Nice Guy or something like that. He was a massive cannabis seed distribute and um, I think he did distribute marijuana in uh, the United States you know people like that Mr. Jolly maybe it was I can't remember his name you know these people most of them have done uh, anything wrong like most of the drug users in the UK or generally worldwide aren't criminals apart from drug use and yeah, I just don't think they should be made to. Anyways, you know, thanks for watching. Sorry, I waffled on about the same shit over and over again, but I really do care about it. I think people should have their liberties. I think people should have the choices to make their own decisions. And I don't see um, this as necessarily a, a dangerous thing anymore. We we know plenty about most of uh, our... No, actually we don't. We used to know a lot about most of our drugs and then we made a shit ton of research chemicals. Kind of confused the fuck out of everyone. But you know, we know quite a lot about the general drug scene now. You know, young adults, some some people are 18, you know, they're not responsible enough to make that decision. Maybe we should do like America, make, make them wait till they're 21. But generally, you know, I think as uh, you know the population is getting smarter starting to understand that you know people don't just suddenly take some ecstasy and decide they're just going to go on a fucking mental rampage and kill 500 people that can happen sometimes but that can also happen when people don't take drugs you know it doesn't generally happen as a result of them is what i'm saying you know although i think there should be some uh, inclusions and some certain like uh, i don't know maybe psychoanalysis done uh, before you take certain drugs. For example, I wouldn't want someone who knew nothing about drugs to suddenly take a bunch of scopolamine or to, for example, take a bunch of, uh, well, not, not PT one for one. No, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about the 
Uh, well, PCP, I guess. <laughs> PCP is one. Or a high dose of methamphetamine, for example. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't want to see that happen. So I'd like to see regulation, but I'd like to see it become legal or at least... You know, a certain amount of possession legal, like in Portugal. Portugal have very good drug laws in uh, this respect. Anyways, I'm going to shut up now. I've been talking for ages. But yeah, the brothers and sisters in jail over that. You know, as, as long as you haven't done anything violent, as long as you haven't been selling to get people addicted and selling in that method, you know, I support you. I hope you get out soon. I hope uh, your families realise that you didn't necessarily do it because you're evil. Maybe you just did it to give a bunch of friends some fun maybe you just needed the money yeah and any people who are in jail for uh, you know possession good luck to you it's a fucking stupid crime to get done for you know as long as you're not a violent criminal or a nasty person you know I hope you get out I hope your family uh, understand what you've done and you know they don't take it too personally and I hope it doesn't affect your uh, career in the future because it's ridiculous anyways yeah I will go now. <laughs> I have waffled for a long time. Thanks for watching. See you later. And peace. And uh, happy times.